ESL is the global StarCraft II League. These are the top of the top of the top, the best players in the world always. It's open to anyone, but it's normally completely Koreans. In fact, GSL goes out of its way to try to help foreign players come over. But who else can actually do this? Well, I think if anyone else could, they wouldn't. You'll hear people say, the Koreans and the foreigners. That is something the Koreans have dubbed us. Seen as the foreigners because the Koreans have always had the best players. If you go to any tournament in the world that Koreans are playing in, they will win. I call it a triangle, right? We have the leagues, you've got the teams, you've got all the media that covers those two things, like sports, and right in the middle you have the fans, right? That was always the smallest thing. We were building the outside of the triangle and hoping that people came and cared and bought shirts and bought mouse pads and paid spectator fees. They're here now. It's gonna get these signed. I've not seen a game like this for the last 10, 12 years where it's appealed to non-gamers and gamers that don't actually play the game, like myself. I love watching StarCraft. The reason StarCraft captures so many people and fascinates them is not because of the flashy graphics. There's prettier games out there. It's not because of the storyline. It's quite stupid. It's the impossibility of being perfect in this game. Nobody thinks they could be perfect in this game. If you're the best StarCraft player, you have unanimous respect from all other gamers, and that's something that everyone wants. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Major League Gaming Pro Circuit. We are live from Columbus, Ohio. Today we're going to watch over 256 of the best players duke it out. North America, Europe, Korea. <laughs> there is more than just money on the line. MLG Columbus was the first event here in North America where the Koreans kind of came in mass. My name is Yun Song Won. I'm the Slayers MMA. My name is Jae Ho Chan. I'm the Miss My name is Han yeah. Dang Ho. I'm the Lord Shira. My name is Min Chul Jang. My nickname is Mo Jae Snapchat. We have like four or five Koreans here. I think it's like 50 50. It's a 50% chance Koreans are gonna win, which makes them the huge favorites. I could have 
competed here if I wanted to. Um, they, they had a player slot reserved for me, but there's just no way that I could win feasibly. It would just be good if a foreigner could actually win against the Koreans because it shows that we're at least somewhere near the same level they are. Today we're getting right down into the business. We're going to be going into OGS MC versus EG's IDRA. Our player, Greg, he's often been considered the best foreigner outside of Korea. He has a very intense rivalry with his Korean brethren. He used to live there, he used to train there. His history is interesting in the sense that right out of high school he went to Korea. He played on a team for Sarkar Budwar, like 12 hours a day training in this house with these kids that can't even speak the language to him, and he never got on TV. And I could say that that's probably largely a disappointment to him and to a lot of his fans. That's not to say he wasn't good. He was still the best non-Korean player through those two years. But in Korea, he wasn't one of the best players at all. He wasn't even close. Let's see who's ready to begin the incredibly long, arduous path to the finals. Man, this is some Sam and Frodo journey level difficult. And it looks like we're going to see MC and Idra starting game one on Metalopolis when? Now. Now. Just a quick decision by Idra and uh, very, very well played. I know Idra just knocked out MC, which was a big surprise to everybody. MC has shown that he can lose, he's not invincible. And that's big. I'm throwing all my money on Greg, dude. He's in shape. He's just too old. MC. He's my boy. I'd love to see him win. Idra is a championship class player. And what that means is that he's not only a really good player, he has the swagger and, and just the ability to win major tournaments. He's done it time and time again. He's a threat. People outside of Korea are kind of sticking together and want to beat Koreans. Because they've always been dominating in esports and StarCraft and WarCraft. They've got some ground to make up here, but this is going to be a really fierce competition these next couple of days. The playing field is just even now. I don't put the Rans on any higher skill. So I, I don't think that they're going to dominate. Once 
tournament's been really horrible so far. Inside my mind. Nothing went my way. I'm wishing for you. I'm all alone. I'm suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. And uh, I have a little bit of pain in my wrist right now. There's no excuses. We're all tired. Look at the stars. Tower blocks and cars. Just like anybody watching sports gets stressed out if their team doesn't win or if this guy loses. That's like, ah! When Greg wins, he tends to not show that he's really happy, but he is uh, pleased with the result. We're trying to get Andrew to smile. Oh, look, 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 smile. Oh, he's smiling right now. see if he's going to implode. You want to tune in to see if he's going to come back and you know play an amazing mid and, and late game. Not because he's, um, you know, occasionally says the wrong thing. We all make mistakes like that. It's whether or not he learns from it and becomes the player that he can be, which I think he's starting to do. Taking on Indra, one of the few North American players that still stands here in the championship bracket. There's a lot of tension going on between the Korean players and Indra. Because of that epic moment that happened yesterday when OGS MC stepped out of the booth. He beat someone and you were sitting in the front row and he came up to you and he pointed at you and he did the throat slash motion. Now, usually that means that he wants to physically hurt you. Do you think you could beat him in a fight? It's kind of chubby, so yeah, probably. Get on your feet, guys. Make some noise here. We have Greg Idra Fields. Greg, go ahead and come up on stage. It's Greg's going to be playing a very, very important match. We're going to be going up against MMA. How do you think this match is going to go? Uh, I'm confident. He's definitely a great player. It won't be easy, but I feel good about it. All right, one more time, make some noise. Go ahead, get into your booth and get set up. Next up, we've got MMA. The question for you is, are you at all nervous going up against Idra? Um, I'm going to make sure that I went 2-0.
anime style tends to be hyper aggressive. But will it be capable of taking out the very solid defensive, the very watchful eye of Idra? I really think that this matchup is going to be something special. I think Idra may have left the game that he had won. Absolutely had that game won. I mean, I, 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 I'm speechless. This is what it feels like to be shell-shocked. There's just a collective WTF amongst many of uh, the people here at the auditorium watching online obviously right up here Hydra left he just left the game he still had a huge army still completely in it and probably gonna win it was a heartbreaking moment for any Hydra fan or any Hydra friend Why did he leave, Marcus? What was going on? Good job! That guaranteed a three in the final. We'll see what it is. Good job. Try to make their way through. Try to find out how to lower bracket. Oh, yeah! What was that guy? That's our it was our, it was our producer for the TV show just asked him to comment on game one. He flipped him off. No, he, did you hear what he said to him? He said you want to comment on game one, right? He what said happened? what happened game one? I think both parties were a little wrong there, so. <laughs> Had this guy been formally introduced to Greg, do you know who he was? He's been on the for two years. Has Greg been here for two years, dude? But it's still relevant. I don't know, Scott. Well, I mean, I don't know. Is your guy just flipped off everybody? I don't know. Twice. Your guy is out. That's a tech. That's a tech. It's a tech. So, I mean, I'm just telling you that we're not the worst. I know, but you have all these people walking up to Greg. He gets a drum with Greg. He had a can. Emotions are high, and I think that's something people aren't necessarily used to. 
They look at us as just kind of we're playing a game, it's just all for fun. But I mean, that's his livelihood, that's him bearing his soul to, there's 100,000 people on the stream. Think about a stadium packed with 100,000 people, put two computers down in the middle, that's what's going on. I'm the guy that knows behind the scenes, I know how much the pressure mounts. The mental aspect of my game has never been my strongest feature. It's probably been the weakest for quite a bit of my career. Even back in StarCraft 1 when I was winning everything amongst foreigners and early on in StarCraft 2 when I was having a lot of success in general. Um, it's always been on the back of my mechanics and you know, strategy tactics, all that. It's never been because I'm a fierce competitor or I have the really good competitive mindset. Every player has different buttons and, and different things that motivate them, different things that upset them, different things that tilt them. We've realized that a guy like Greg definitely treats it like a sport, definitely is at the top of the sport, but when you get to the exact same level, it's not your build order, it's not you know how you played the game, it's maybe how you stepped into the booth.